Welcome to the WCTE TV High School Academic Bowl. I'm Brian O'Connor, your moderator, a math professor at Tennessee Tech University. Our match today features teams from Portland High School and Uppermont High School. Let's meet our teams and the match officials. I'm David Dockery. I'm a senior at Uppermont High School and I like to read. My name is Mary Funk. I'm a senior at Uppermont High School and I'm a cheerleader. Hello, my name is BJ Ledbetter. I'm a senior at Uppermont High School and I play baseball. Hi, I'm Ryan Nash. I'm a senior at Upperman High School. I'm the president of the National Honor Society, president of uh, Student Government Association, and I'm in the Beta Club. Hello, my name is Daryl Wyatt. This is my fifth year at Upperman High School, and I teach chemistry and physics. I'm Caitlin Troughton. I'm a junior at Portland High School. I'm in Beta Club, HOSA Club, and NHS. I'm Carter Venable, and I'm a freshman at Portland High School. I'm involved in Student Council, FBLA, and Cross Country. Hi, I'm Allie Lawrence. I'm a junior at Portland High School and I'm involved with academic team, National Honor Society, and Beta Club. My name is Keely Lawrence. I'm a senior in, at Portland High School. I am the captain of the Portland High School academic team and I am an active volunteer at my local library. Hi, I'm Helena Beyer. I'm a social studies teacher at Portland High School. I've been there about 15 years and I am the academic team coach. My name is Rob Shabert. I'm the Assistant Athletic Director at Tennessee Tech for Sports Information and Broadcasting, and I'm very happy to return one more year as a judge for the Academic Bowl. Hi, I'm Amy Jo Carpenter. I work at Tennessee Tech College of Business as the Program Manager for the Student to Career Program. I also, also teach professional communications for the Department of English. I'm very happy to be an Academic Bowl judge. Hello, I'm Janie Bassett. I'm a retired school teacher from Putnam County a volunteer for WCTE, and today I'm scorekeeper for the Academic Bowl. Thank you, and we're back. Are you ready, teams, to begin our match? Here is the first toss-up question. In what two Gospels of the New Testament is the birth of Jesus described? Upperman, Mary. Matthew and Luke. Matthew and Luke, correct. Ten points there. Here is your bonus question. First part, what queen traveled from afar to visit King Solomon? Queen of Sheba. Sheba, correct. And second, what woman supposedly arranged for the beheading of John the Baptist? Harriet and White. No, Salome. Ten points on that. Here is your next toss-up question. Lake Itasca in central Minnesota is the source of what great American river? Upperman BJ. The Mississippi, that is right. Bonus question, what four-word phrase means that we should know what we're getting into before we commit ourselves? Don't blink before you look. No, look before you leap. And second, what three-word terms means acting too quickly may actually slow things down? I got nothing. Haste makes waste. No points there. Here's your next toss-up question. In what 20th century novel does the following sentence occur? All animals are equal, but some animals, Upperman BJ, Animal Farm, correct, more equal than others. Animal Farm is correct, 10 points there. Here is your bonus question. First, in a Dickens novel, name the person who teaches Oliver Twist and others to become pickpockets. Animal Farm. Close. <laughs> it was Fagin. And second, from what poem is this last line taken? Only God can make a tree. Oh. It's a bonus. The giving tree. That a giving tree? No, just trees. No points on that bonus. Here's the next toss-up question. Identify the term for two successive words that seemingly contradict one another, such as cruel kindness. Upperman, BJ. Oh, an oxymoron. Oxymoron, correct. Ten points there. Here is your bonus question. First part, give the comparative form of the adjective charming. More charming. More charming, and thank you very much. And second, give the abbreviation for the Latin phrase id est, meaning that is. 
IE? IE, that's right, 20 points there. Here's your next toss-up question. Historic Beale Street is located in what? Opperman, BJ. Memphis. Memphis, what Tennessee city, correct. Here is your bonus question. First part, the art of arranging dance movements for performance is known as what? Bonus. Choreography. Choreography. And second, what famous, what famous Scottish poet put words to the song, if a body, meet a body, coming through the rye? Harry Burns. Oh, uh, it's not Harry Burns. Do we throw that out because it's not correct? No, it was Robert Burns, so we can't accept that. Ten points on that bonus. Here's your next toss-up. Is the country of Kazakhstan located in Asia, Africa, Europe, or Upper Beach? Asia. Asia. South America was the other choice. Correct there. Ten points. Here's your bonus question. Since it is located on both sides of the Bosporus, Istanbul might be considered part of two continents. Name the two. Europe. Europe and Asia. Europe and Asia, correct. And second, identify the geographical name for a body of land enclosed on three sides by water jutting out from a larger body of land. Peninsula. Peninsula, correct. 20 points there. Next toss-up question. Lye and ammonia are two examples of bases, caustic materials often found in large beds and deserts. What's the common name for these minerals? Time. Alkalize. Next toss-up question. In Greek mythology, what strange figuration did Daedalus construct? Portland Alley. A maze? Uh, we will take that. A labyrinth, technically, but we will accept maze. Correct. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. First part. Name the fields where the souls of the dead went after death in classical mythology. Fields of torture? No, the Elysian fields. And second, identify the Roman name of the Greek god of love, Eros. Cupid? Cupid, correct. Ten points there. Next toss-up question. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse is one of the celebrated lines from what Shakespeare play? Macbeth. Upperman David. Macbeth. No, can you take it Portland's, Portland High School? Keeley. Othello. No, my kingdom for an answer. It's Richard III. No points there. Next toss-up question. What country would you be approaching if in front of you loomed the White Cliffs of Dover? Portland, Keeley. England. England, correct. Twenty or Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. What European country had colonial interests in the Southeast Asian region in the 19th and 20th centuries, especially in the vicinity of Vietnam and Cambodia. Great Britain. No, it was France. And second, in what Russian city is the Hermitage Gallery located? Moscow. No, St. Petersburg. No points there. Next toss-up question. That point in a series at which half of the values or units of the series are higher and half lower is known by what term? Opperman, Mary. The median. The median, correct. Ten points there. Here is your bonus question. This one of six elementary particles is a fundamental constituent of matter. The electron and neutrino are examples of this type of particle. Name it. Adam? No, lepton. And second, in physics, identify the term for the movement of an electron from one orbit in an atom to another. Valence? No, quantum leap. No points there. Here's another toss-up question. What World War II leader said, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few? Upperman, David. Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill, correct. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. First, identify the cardinal who was the prime minister of France under King Louis XIII in the 17th century. Louis XIV. No, that was Cardinal Richelieu. And next, in what century was the Russo-Japanese Russo War fought? 
the 19th. No, it was the 20th century. No points on that bonus. That's the end of our first round. A score is Upperman 140 and Portland 30, and we'll be back in a minute with our lightning round. Welcome back to WCTE's High School Academic Bowl. Our match is Portland High School and Upperman High School. The score at the end of the first round is Upperman 140 and Portland 30. We're going to have our lightning round now, and the categories are this and that and the state of Tennessee. So Portland, which of those categories would you like? This and that. This and that. A potpourri of categories, it says. Okay, you'll have 60 seconds. Scottish Queen in the 16th century executed by Elizabeth I. Mary Queen of the Scots. Pathogen smaller than bacteria whose name means poison. Germ. Flexible tissue that keeps bones in place. Cartilage. Greek poet, father of poetry. Homer. Mythical hero of Babylonia, subject of famous epic poem. Gugamesh. City whose Roland Garros Stadium is a tennis tournament site. Pass. Practice of lending money at an exorbitant rate. Pass. Insects mistakenly called white ants. Pass. Dance hall in Paris, can-can dancers means red mill. Moulin Rouge. Cuban site of failed U.S.-backed 1961 invasion. Bay of Pigs. City whose Roland Garros Stadium is a tennis tournament site. Pass. Practice of lending money at an exorbitant rate. You have five correct for 50 more points, gives you 80. The ones you missed, the pathogen smaller than bacteria, name means poison, is virus. The flexible tissue that keeps bones in place are ligaments. The Roland Garros Stadium is in Paris, site of the French Open. Lending money at an exorbitant rate is usury. White ants are termites, and you got five correct there, 50 points. We now go to Upperman High School, and I bet you would like the state of Tennessee. So you'll have 60 seconds. Are you ready? The official name of Tennessee's legislative body. Pass. Number of congressional districts in Tennessee. Nine. Third most populous city in the state. Knoxville. Year that Tennessee first grant gained statehood. 1796. The first year, the first Tennessean to become U.S. president in 1829. Andrew Jackson. Identify the Tennessee state wild animal. Raccoon. In what year did the name volunteer state originate? In what war did it originate? War of 1812. How many stars are in the middle of the Tennessee state flag? Three. From what university did the famous Jubilee Singers originate? Pass. What man is now Tennessee's senior U.S. Senator? Lamar Alexander. Official name of Tennessee's legislative body. You have A correct. That was the General Assembly and the Jubilee Singers are from Fisk University. You have eight correct, 80 more points, and that brings you up to 220. Very good, and we're now ready to begin our final round. Teams, are you ready? Here is your first toss-up question. Identify the legal process by which one government may gain the custody of an individual from another government in order to put that individual on trial. That's extradition. Next toss up. This Jewish holiday or festival commemorates the Exodus, the deliverance, uh, Upperman David. Passover. Passover, the delivery of the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. Correct. Here is your bonus question. First part the rhymes Humpty Dumpty, Jack and Jill, and Little Miss Muffet are nursery rhymes from what famous collection? Mother Goose. Mother Goose is right. And second, in what meter is blank verse written by poets? Diameter. Di iambic pentameter. No, I have to take the answer. Iambic pentameter. Ten points there on that, bon on that bonus question. Here's another toss-up question. Which architectural style of Europe employed the round arch? Was it Gothic, Romanesque, or Rococo? 
Upperman, David. Gothic. No, can you take it, Portland? Keeley. Rococo. No, it was Romanesque. <laughs> Didn't get that one. Next toss-up question. Dictator Juan Perón was associated with what South American country along with his wife, Evita? Upperman, Ryan. Argentina. Argentina. You didn't cry for that. Correct. Here is your bonus question. First part. The river Rubicon, associated with Julius Caesar is in the minds of, in the minds of many, is located in what country? Italy. Italy, correct. And second, identify the generic term for a mounted warrior in the Middle Ages who practiced chivalry in all that he did. Knight. Knight. 20 points there. Here's another toss-up question. What three-word term suggests a state of peace existing because rival nations are equally powerful and therefore have no good reason to wage war? Opperman, David. Mutually shared destruction. No. Can you take it, Portland? Balance of power. Not bad, but balance of power is the term here. So no points there. Here's another toss-up question. What one word term beginning with the letter F has been a movement for granting women in this country and other upperman BJ. Feminism. Feminism, correct. Ten points there. Here is your bonus question. First part. This two word term from psychology refers to a type of midlife anxiety that affects parents when their children have grown up and left home to begin their own adult lives. Identify this term which is a bird connection. Empty nest. Empty nest, correct. And second, identify this term introduced by Carl Jung to describe a person whose motives and actions are directed inward. Introvert. Introvert, correct, 20 points there. Here's another toss up question. How many cards must be drawn from a standard 52 card deck in order to ensure drawing four of a kind? Upperman, BJ. Uh, 36. No, can you take it, Portland? Keely. 13. No, it's 40. You could have three of all 13. You need one more to get 40. So that was it there. Um, next toss up question. Jeffrey Rush won a Golden Globe playing a mentally troubled master musician in Shine. What Italian word designates an exceptionally skilled musician? Portland Alley. Uh, virtuoso. Virtuoso, correct. Ten points there. Here is your bonus question. Which term is used in art where a design is created on metal with a needle? The plate is then put in acid, then inked, and the design produced on paper. Bonus question here. That's an etching. And second, what word designates both the eighth day following a Christian festival and the interval of one eighth in music as from C to C? C to shining C. No, just C to C. Octave. Octave, correct. Ten points there. Next toss up question. What branch of mathematics usually studied after algebra provides a natural method for describing gradual change? Opperman, Ryan. Trigonometry. No, can you take it, Portland? Time? Take it from me sometime. Calculus. No points there. Next toss up question. What T word means the central idea in a piece of writing, sometimes contained? Opperman, BJ. Thesis. Thesis, sometimes contained in a topic sentence. Correct there. Here is your bonus question. The letters T E R, L Y, a, B, L, E, and F, U, L are examples of what kind of word constructions? Suffixes. Suffixes, they're at the end of words, right. And second, identify the term for a narrative or dramatic work complete in itself, but designed to follow an earlier one. Sequel. Sequel, correct. 20 points on that bonus. Here's another toss-up question. Identify the famous volcano whose earliest recorded eruption was in 79 AD. It is located on the Mediterranean coast of Italy. No, can you take it, Upperman? No, no, conferring on the toss-ups. Got to throw it out. It's Vesuvius. Careful on the conferring. Next toss-up question. 
the tip of what cold material is often alluded to in discussions of subjects in which the most important aspects are hidden from view. Portland, Ellie. Tip of the iceberg? Iceberg, correct. Ten points there. Here's your bonus question. First, in meteorology, identify the name of the line that forms the boundary between two contrasting air masses. Layer. No, that's front. And second, off the coast of what continent is located the Great Barrier Reef? Australia. Australia, correct there, 10 points. Here's another toss-up question. The Painted Desert is a remarkable region of sandstone formations located in the northeast portion of what western U.S. state? Upperman, Mary. Arizona. Arizona, that is right. 10 points there. Here's your bonus question. Is Tampa, Jacksonville, or Miami the most populous city in Florida? Miami. No, it's Jacksonville. And second, is Raleigh, Charlotte, Asheville, or Winston-Salem the most populous city in North Carolina? Asheville. No, it's Charlotte. No points there. Next toss-up. Slavery follows the flag. Was this the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling in Plessy versus Ferguson, Scott versus Sanford, Sanford or Brown versus Board of Topeka? Time. It was the Scott case. No points there. Next toss-up. Jean-Paul Marat, a French radical during the revolution of 1789, met his death by stabbing. Precisely what was he doing when he was stabbed? He was taking a bath. And on that note, we'll end our match. Opperman wins 330 to 120 for Portland. Thank you teams for coming to here and uh, having a good match for us. We appreciate it.